Hello and welcome to JavaScript Evangelist. And in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about which version of Angular you should choose. And this video is a part of series Learn Angular Step by Step. For starters, uh, definitely do not choose Angular 1. Uh, since the release of Angular 2, uh, the Angular framework has been completely rewritten. So while, mo so while moving from Angular 1 to 2, uh, there's going to be a syntax change. So if you know anything about Angular 1, uh, sadly, uh, you'll need to forget everything about Angular 1 and move on to learning uh, from the start uh, about Angular 2 since syntax has changed. But then you might be wondering uh, uh, what is Angular 4 or Angular 5 or even for the future's sake, uh, 6, 7 or 8. Do not worry about these version updates. Yes, they are just version updates uh, to the existing Angular 2. So moving from uh, Angular 2 to 4 or even 5 is uh, not a syntax change. Uh, it's just improvements or the bug fixes to the existing Angular 2. And technically, uh, we shouldn't be uh, referencing Angular 2 or Angular 5. Just we are going to call it Angular. With the release of Angular 5, Angular is now much more faster, smaller, and has a better compiler. And more importantly, uh, they are aiming towards uh, progressive web apps. They're trying to make it uh, easier to build uh, progressive web apps with help of new Angular. So if I have to say, what's the one biggest difference uh, between AngularJS 1 and Angular 2? Then it has to be the speed and the web components. So even Google has mentioned the future of web is web components. Uh, and uh, in Angular 2, uh, data flows in one direction. Yes, uh, there are ways to send the data back to the parent from a child, but uh, Angular 2 is much more better uh, than AngularJS. I'm not going to talk much about each and every differences uh, uh, just trust me on this and jump into the amazing pool of Angular. And thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.